Hello everyone. In this multi-part videos, we are going to be learning about how to build this particular interface. This is a credit card entry interface and it has a lot of different components. So you can first see a beautiful, beautiful credit card displayed right in front of you. I can go ahead and type in my name into the credit card. So if I press on any of these places and I type, you can see that it immediately appears on the credit card. I can put in my expiration dates and all that stuff. And the CVV code. Whenever I press on the CVV code, it actually rotates and show me the back side of the card so I can enter the CVV code. Now, we will be covering all of that, but we will be taking one step at a time. So in this video, you're going to be learning We'll be learning that how to do this really nice animation and also you will also learn about how to do gradients in your Swift UI application. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and add a new Swift UI view to the application. And I would simply call this credit card. Let's go ahead and create this. And there we go. That's a basic credit card view that we have now. Now the idea is that the credit card has two different sides, right? It, it has a front and it has a back side. On the front side, you can see the credit card number and you can enter your name and you can enter your expiration date. And on the back of the credit card, you will have the CVV code, which is a three digit code. So what we're planning to do is to create two different additional controls, which one of them will be the front of the credit card and the other one will be the back of the credit card. So how do we do it? Well, we're gonna go ahead and get started with creating the basic control. And you can create basic controls in the same file or you can create them in a different file. I'm just going to create this control over here. I'll call it credit card front view. So this is another view that we are creating, just a normal surf UI view, nothing more. There we go. Okay, so inside over here, we can create a V stack. Now keep in mind that in this particular uh, video, we are not focusing on creating the overall look. We're just focusing on the animation part of it and applying the gra gradient. So I can go ahead and simply say over here, front and foreground color, color dot white. Great. Now I can go ahead and set the frame because I do want my credit card to be of a specific size. For the width, I'm just gonna say 300 and for the height, I'm gonna say, let's say 200. All right. Now, how do I know that this credit card is being displayed? Well, we have a credit card view right over here. We can use that. So I can go ahead and simply display it, credit card front, just so that I can see that what the credit card looks like. And right now it's not gonna look like anything because it's just going to say front and that's it. and it's white color, so it's not gonna appear anyways. Let's go ahead and change the background color. Dot background. And here's the cool thing that you can do. You can always pass in something called a linear gradient in the background. And linear gradient basically means simply a gradient, as you can see. The gradient can have a color, the starting color, which in this case is red and the ending color, which in this case is blue, a starting point, because you can start the gradient from left, right, top, bottom, anywhere, and end point is trailing, meaning it's the end point is right over here on the right hand side. We can also go ahead and do a corner radius of, let's say, I don't know, 10. Let's go ahead and build this application again. And we should be able to see a little bit more corner radius going on. 
There we go. We can see a little bit of corner radius. There we go. And using the same exact techniques, we can use uh, or we can create the back of the card. So let's go ahead and copy for the back. And I will change this name to credit card back. If I do want to see this card, I can simply put it instead of the credit card front, or I can put both of them by simply wrapping this in the V stack. There we go. So now I should be able to see both the different cards, the credit card front and the back of the card. The back of the card doesn't really have anything. As you can see, it's completely empty. That's perfectly fine. But what we want is that we want to switch between our cards. We want to switch. Sometime it will be front and then we tap on it and then it will be different. So how do we do that? So this means that definitely we, we can't really display both of these cards, the front and the back at the same time. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead over here and make this a generic argument, which is content, where content will be a view. So basically what we're trying to do is that in this credit card, we can send in, we can pass in another view. Now in React, this is called the higher order functions. Uh, in over here in Swift UI world, we just call them view builders or you can call this higher order views if you want to, although you're not going to get any search results if you search for higher order views. I do have a video on higher order views or the same technique if you search my YouTube channel and I'll also add it so that you can refer to it. Next, we're going to create a property called content, which is going to return a content, which is a generic type. And this particular content generic type is of type view. So this means that we have the capability now of passing in another view to the credit card view. And that view can be, sometimes it can be a credit card front and sometimes that can be a credit card back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say called content. When I call content, it is eventually going to return me the content, which in turn returns the view. Let's go ahead and build that. And let's see what problem we are facing over here. Okay, there we go. So we're facing some issues right at the bottom somewhere, right here. We do have to pass in something. So let's go ahead and pass this credit card because now we have to pass in one argument, which is, I believe, called content. And it will be an array. Let's see if we can just simply pass in like over here. And we can simply go ahead and say, let's say credit card front, credit card front. And we are also going to specify that, well, it is a generic argument of type credit card front. This means that for the credit card, we are passing the front of the credit card. So when the preview gets displayed, it is going to send in the credit card front as a child element and it's going to get displayed on line number 15. Okay, so all of this is great, but well, how do we, you know, how do we rotate it? Let's go back to our content view. And in the content view, you can see that we are simply using text. Okay, that's fine, I guess, but well, we want to use our credit card. So I can simply say credit card and I can simply pass in the card that I want to see. Right now, I'm just gonna pass in credit card front. And I can see the front of the card. But how do I switch from front to back on the tap? So first, we will go ahead and say on tap gesture. So anytime you click on the credit card, this tap gesture is going to get fired. What we want to do is a couple of different things. We want to switch the credit card front to credit card back if you tap, and we also want to perform the rotate animation. To perform the rotate animation, what we will do is we will create a 
private variable, we'll call it degrees, but that's also a state variable. So anytime this variable is changed, the render function gets called, meaning the whole view is rendered. And we're also going to create another variable, which is going to maintain if the credit card is actually flipped or not. So when the person is actually tapping, we are going to say degrees plus equals to 180. So degrees was initially zero, but now it will be 180 and then 360 and then so on. And also flipped, which is the Boolean dot toggle. So if you basically tap on the credit card first time, it will turn from false to true. We do want these properties to be animated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call them with the animation block. So whenever these properties are changing, uh, they will take effect and it will change through the use of an animation. But the question is, well, right now we're displaying the credit card front. How do we change between the credit card front and the back? Now, the common sense approach that you might take is something like this. If it is flipped, then we will go ahead and send in the credit card back because it is flipped. Else, we will go ahead and send in, by default, we will send in the front of the credit card. If you go ahead and run this application, you'll see that there's a problem. And the problem is that, well, you can't really return two different views. Uh, it has to be of the same type, and they're not. Now, the way the workaround is, you can use any view, or you can actually use group. Now, when we're using group, now we're sending back the group, and the group may contain either the front of the card or the back of the card. The other thing that is missing right now is the actual animation. So it's not really going to animate right now. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So if we run this application and we try to tap on it, it definitely is changing. See that? It's front and now this is the back. This is the front, this is the back. This is great, this is changing, okay. But it doesn't animate at all. It doesn't really do anything. So how do we perform animation on it? So let's see how we can add animation. In order to add the animation, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this group into a VStack. And on the VStack, I can add animation. Now, one of the cool ways that you can animate in 3D is by using the rotation 3D effect. We do want to use our degrees, so I can simply call degrees and pass in the degrees, which is a state variable. Now, you can also pass in the axis on which you want to rotate. Right now, we are only rotating on the x-axis. And I don't really want these three things. These are all default, so I can simply remove that. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and run the application. And you will see that whenever I tap, it actually performs animation based on the y-axis. Now if I change from y-axis to an x-axis, you'll see that the animation is then performing based on the x-axis. And the same is true for the z-axis. So let's go ahead and change this to the axis and see the, how the animation will look like. I think I really like the y-axis animation, so I'm just gonna put that one. Pretty cool, right? So in this video, you learn how to create a flip animation using rotation 3D effect you also learn how you can create gradients. With these two in your tool set, in the next video, I'm going to cover how you can create that beautiful looking UI you saw earlier on. Thank you, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a course on Swift UI. It's called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. You can see that this is close to a 20 hour course. So it's pretty much covered everything you ever imagined about Swift UI. It starts from the very beginning and then it can take a deep dive 
into many different concepts, including property wrappers, core data, Surf UI, recipes and animation on all devices, and even a huge section on Surf UI for iOS 14. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate with pedometer and healthcare data and even draw charts using Surf UI. So this is the complete course on Surf UI. I would say if you are interested in this course, then check out the YouTube description and you will be able to find many different courses that I have created. Uh, and I would really appreciate if you try out different courses that I have. But the best way to get these courses is by checking out the YouTube description. You will find the links, click on the link, and you'll be able to get these courses. Thank you so much and enjoy the video.